Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back two shows a day, every day. Uh, we're here to talk about um, <clears throat> Canelo versus Kayla Plant are nearing, nearing an official deal for September 18th in uh, the T-Mobile in Las Vegas. Uh, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share in all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing and Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Also, please like the other channel. Subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Everything is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. <clears throat> um, all research, uh, all pro proceeds go to autism research and recovery. So it's a, it's a cause that's near and dear to our heart. So please subscribe to that channel. Help us get monetized as quickly as possible. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, and I told y'all this was coming. I told y'all this was coming. Caleb Plant versus Canelo Alvarez. Uh, Canelo Alvarez is the biggest name in the sport. He's the biggest draw in the sport. What he wants, he gets because you can't afford to tell him no. He wants Caleb Plant. He has Caleb Plant's name in his mouth. And now we're going to get the Caleb Plant fight. It looks like for September 18th, which is, you know, Mexican Independence Day weekend. Um, Canelo is traditionally... Fought on that weekend. De La Hoya fought on that weekend. Uh, Floyd Mayweather fought on that weekend. It's a great weekend for boxing. Um, and uh, it's Canelo weekend now. And Canelo wants to become the undisputed super middleweight champion. Uh, I guess start his legacy, run his legacy at 168. Um, again, he could go on a run and be the best 168-pound champ ever. Because, um, you know, he's just 30 years old. He could run a division five, six years. Um, you know, if he can get past Caleb Plant. And I... You know, I've been asked many, many times if I if there's anyone I think if someone would have beat, let me put it this way. If I had to pick someone to beat Canelo, who would it be? Right now, south of 175, it's Caleb Plant. Um, I'm not saying Caleb Plant's definitely gonna win. I'm not saying he should be favored in the fight. He shouldn't be. What I'm saying is if anyone can beat Canelo Alvarez at 160 or 168, it's Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant is exceptional, incredible speed. I uh, throws a nice combination. He's hard to hit. Um, a little craftier on the inside than uh, Billy Joe was, so he can survive on the inside a little better than Billy Joe does. Was once Caleb got on the inside, of Billy Joe was over. Um, uh, I, I think Caleb Plant now has a blueprint to kind of see, you know, um, how to fight Canelo. Um, that, that Billy Joe had great success, but he had a little bit of success one round or two here and there. Um, I, I, I think smother him up on the inside. Don't let him get to work on the inside. Keep him on the outside. Stay off the ropes. Um, you know, and keep him at range. Um, if he can keep him at range, stay on the back foot and, and, and just pepper him to death and stop him from coming to the front door. Look, I, I know neither Caleb Plant nor Billy Joe has a great knockout ratio. Obviously, neither of them are big knockout punchers. Um, neither of them really, that's not how they fight. Caleb Plant has got more pop. He's got more sting in his punches than Canelo. Simple and plain. Um, where he can, he's not going to knock out Canelo, but what he can do is catch his attention. You know, he can, he can hit him with a two piece, hit him with a lead hook, hit him with a right hand and stop him from coming in. All right, stop him in his tracks. At least make him catch, at least get his respect and just not let him walk in the front door. Billy Joe couldn't do that. I also think Caleb Plant's better on his feet than Billy Joe. Although Billy Joe is, Billy Joe is very, very skilled. Um, I think Canelo's better. I think Caleb Plant's better. Um, you know, look, if you go to our pound for pound rankings, we have Canelo as the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. He's earned that title. He's the king of the sport right now. He's the best in the world right now. Uh, that being said, styles make fights, uh, and 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 no man is unbeatable. 
and, and um, you know, anyone can be beaten given the right style. Um, I, I thought, you know, you know, Floyd Mayweather avoided Paul Williams, and that was wise. I think Paul Williams was all wrong for him. Um, I, I think Caleb Plant, and again, not that Paul Williams would have beaten Mayweather, just like uh, Caleb Plant may not beat Canelo, but it's the toughest fight out there. Um, this is a tough fight for Canelo. All due respect to Canelo for taking this fight. Um, I would say Caleb Plant has his best win against his against his best win is against Uskatsugi. After that, it gets a little weak. Mike Lee, Truax, Vegan Boots. It's there's not Porky Medina is a name he got uh, before winning a world title. He's really, really skilled. He's really, really untested. Um, he looked great against Uskatsugi. Um, and Scott think he's really good. He's not Canelo. Um, does he have the experience to beat Canelo? I don't know. It's going to be rough. Um, Caleb Plant's extremely skilled. Extremely skilled. Um, and he's going to have to use all of that skill to keep Canelo off him. Um, Canelo obviously is going to be a size and reach disadvantage as he always is. He's going to be at 168, but he's a master at slipping shots, getting past the jab, getting seamlessly on the inside. Um, if he can do that and he can work on the inside, he's going to beat Caleb Plant. And he was able to do that with Billy Joe. He's obviously the bigger puncher that, you know, and he's masterful on the inside. This is, to me, this is a 50, 50 kind of fight. I, I think there's a clear path to who wins. What it comes down to is who executes, Right. Um, I'm not going to give my official prediction. I'll do that when we get closer. Uh, but I think there's a clear path to victory for both fighters, and that makes the fight fun. Um, just like I thought there was a clear path to Charlo and Castano winner. Caleb Plant's got to stay on his feet, stay up his back foot, fire him, and he's got to stop him. He's got to stop Canelo from getting inside. And look, he's Canelo's a master of getting inside, so he's going to get on the inside. When he does, time up immediately. Time up immediately. And same thing I said with um, Barrios and, and, and Tank. You get him on side, time up. If the fans boo, they boo. We're going to win rounds, okay? Um, you, you can't let him get on the inside. You can't, when he does get on the inside, which you will at times, you can't let him work. Um, keep moving. If you're not moving, you're losing. And, and for Canelo, it's just the opposite. Um Canelo's got to fight through it. He's got to smother him. Um, he's got to keep working, keep throwing hands, keep working the body. I think the body attack from Canelo will be what, if he wins, will be what does it for him. The, the, the body attack, we haven't really seen anyone get to plant, Plant's body. Uh, if Canelo can do that, he can slow him down, he can win him. He can stop him. Not saying that's going to happen, not giving my official prediction, but that's the path to victory for Canelo. This is a great fight. Kudos to Canelo for taking it. Uh, Canelo's a fighting champion. Uh, Caleb Plant getting the biggest opportunity of his life, and if I, I think that he could win. Uh, Caleb, like Billy Joe, wasn't going to win. Tom Smith wasn't going to win. Caleb Plant can win this fight. Caleb Plant can definitely win this fight. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel. Share three D boxing on all forms of social media. Quick hits come at you twice a day, every day to give you the latest boxing news and rumors. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, completely dedicated to Texas boxing. All things Texas boxing. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, so please like and subscribe to that channel as well. Uh, it's very near and dear to our heart. Uh, from It is July 22nd. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. So as a tweet, post, story, or video, 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.